Hey, what's going on YouTube? Coming at you with House Design, and in this SolidWorks tutorial, we're gonna keep it quick and simple with going over some different mesh settings in your static SolidWorks simulation for stress analysis. So I wanna show you guys how a coarser mesh will give you a different result from a finer mesh, which will give you a more accurate supposedly accurate more representation of the von Mises stress areas of interest. So I will go ahead and demonstrate that. Right now, we're gonna have our mesh settings go to create, create mesh. We're gonna do a standard mesh, super coarse on the scale, hit okay. And we're going to go ahead and run. We're going to take a look at the Von Mice stress. So you can see here, we got some red showing there. We're going to go ahead and screenshot that to save it for later. So that'll be the course result. Now let's See what happens when we do a finer mesh somewhere in the middle using a standard mesh you can see now the nodes got a lot tighter go ahead and run it go ahead and save this So you can see now that the, this area is much more visible, noticeable, where the high stress concentrations are in this red area. It's a little bit more defined than the super coarse mesh setting. Let's go ahead and screenshot that as well. Let's run it again with a super fine standard mesh, which will hopefully give us the most accurate result. So now you can see the mesh grains are super fine. Give us a lot more detailed results. Save this. Hit course. So now you can see we have more of a parabolic shape here, right where this countersunk hole is, even more so defined than our more coarse mesh. This is the kind of result we want. It's more accurate um, display of the Von Mice stress because our, st our mesh is optimized. We'll go ahead and save this now. And that wraps up this video of playing with the fine versus coarse mesh settings in static stress analysis. I'll do some future videos on more meshing uh, features in future videos. Comment below, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.